George. Yo. Just say something funny to me. I, I wasn't hate that. That's the worst. That's like wasn't that's funny like at all. Ticket. That's like a ticket when you ask someone, point a camera, someone asks them to say something. If they say something funny. Is like you know that, that whatever they're gonna say is gonna be the least funny thing you could possibly think of. Well, that was on pretty, the fly. That was pretty funny. What you're doing right now is perfect. All right. Well, there you go. living a kind of a counterculture-ish lifestyle yeah. without necessarily being like, you know, it's not like we're not doing this because we hate the system or the government. This is just the only thing that makes sense to you in life. Because I wonder what it is, because everywhere we go in the world, were received with open arms. My friends and I, we drove four hours from Ensenada. That's, that's love, man. That's love. Thanks for the drive. Thanks for the drive, man. Love the music. Love the show. Very good time, man. Thanks so much. Thank cool. <laughs> Most of the time, people tend to skip over middle America and just hit the mm -hmm. coast, you know? Like, it's, and there's a reason why, because the shows tend to be pretty good out here. The Lexus on Fire tour. Oh, shit. <laughs> Say it, man. He's the coolest guy I've ever met. Yeah, man. I used to like his totally steal his deodorant sticks and like yeah, totally shoes and stuff. Just wear them, yeah. wear them, and just love it. Tape it to my face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd show up at Hippie's house and I'd be like, Hippie man, did you you taped all his shoe to your face again? Yeah, I did. And he's like, yeah, but he would never talk to me for really just be talking through his like guitar pickup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. But anyway, so Alexa on Fire, uh, it was kind of an instant bond with us in there. Hey, 
man. Someone says I look like an Irish dude. You look like a skinhead. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni slice? Look at that. I can't handle that, dude. That's good, the pepperoni. Yeah, the hammer is coming. Ah, shit. Dude, the hammer is too much for you. <laughs> it's like the tool man giving like a peasant a hammer. Oh, get it out of here. Shut up. <laughs> but, um. Look at handball, ping pong. Live dangerous. That's all that. Seriously, this is it. This is, this is tough. Chris Steele has lost upwards of four times to Harris, and right now he has the lead. But there's like, you know, there's friends, then there's bros, and then there's bros that are friends that have friends who are bros. Yeah. And that's them. <laughs> what the hell? Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't drop it. In and out burger's not as good as everybody says. That's a lie. Yeah, I have to disagree. It's totally not, though. Like, we went <laughs> burgers are good. No, we but not. Today? We went to it today, me and Steel, and me and Steel were like, it's not as good as everybody says it is. No, the, the, the fries are terrible. No, you know what, though? The fries you eat are it, terrible. You eat it today, and you'll be like, you think about it like all the other fast food hamburgers you eat, and you'll be like, this is not as good. You have fucking Taco Bell, uh, Wendy's. Chris and Pitts, which is a sit-down restaurant, which is right on. Insane. Yeah, is it good? It's, it's good. Um, per diem day too. Per diem day. Per diem day. You Pay me, motherfuckers. <laughs> um, you have uh, there's taquerias. Oh yeah, there's, we'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah. it out. Plays this like kind of like drunken radio DJ kind of guy. This is Del Taco, a delicious fast food establishment. Only found mostly on the West Coast. It's uh, pretty much bastardized, bastardized Mexican food. Uh, you get French fries, you know, and get hamburgers, things like that. And we appreciate it. We like Sunfire fully endorse this uh, fast food restaurant. Game. That's what we do. They make a great jalapeno burger, which I didn't get because I just got one last time. Uh, do you want Choco Taco, please? Uh, that sounds, uh, oh! oh this uh, like, this ice cream truck food. is like your handball game. No luck for you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Harris. <laughs> Why don't you get the Harris bar? Well, you know, Harris no, I'll get the Harris bar right here, the fruity pop, huh? <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm Brad, I'm the uh, head cotton technician for Lexus on Fire. Uh, yeah! We sell yeah. excellent uh, merchandise to hooligan children in the whole thing, trying to steal stuff. Ladies, if you see that guy selling a merch, stay 10 feet away. Throw the money at him. I'm not Brad signing a consent Brad. form to you. This is the Alexis on Fire merch guy on the store, but he's also oh, a MySpace okay. predator. No, that's so, 16-year-old <laughs> girls, beware of the guy with too much hair gel in his head in Detroit. That's ridiculous. You want to know a true story? I had no idea you guys even had a new CD out when I started the last tour. No clue. I was like, what is this CD? And, uh, yeah, it's called Crisis. I didn't know. Just Get that camera out of my face. Imagine I was, imagine I was that kind of guy. Oh good, you got a good shot of the ball. <laughs> tin cup shit. Shot. Let's do Cheech Marin. How about that? <laughs> in tin cup. Cheech Marin. Cheech Marin in tin cup. Cheech Marin in tin cup. Alright, ready? Cheech The shark, lowers my sharp teeth. I call my bass strings snakes. So when I'm playing, it's like the shark is biting the snakes. Really biting the snakes, you know? I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but it's 10 bucks. I got him right here. His name's Spider-Man too. Oh, Spider -Man. Or no, no, it's Batman. Just because Spider-Man's too obvious. spider bish Not the most vegan thing to purchase. <laughs> <laughs>
crawling around the desert. Ooh, I'm spot up. Bought a spot out of a gas station in Arizona. So Dave's at the ATM and I'm like, George, what are you doing? Where are you getting that money up for? He's like, I'm thinking about buying a tarantula. Tarantula named Kyle Bishop. Oh, tarantula, your name is Kyle Bishop. fucking pants just just California wants to get up on your grill you know oh shit yeah This is like a joke that's gonna come up like way later down the road because you know some like 13 year old girl's gonna be like, I love this band. And then she's gonna like go home and be all excited to have a new change of pace. She just got the last one off the rack at the show and she's gonna be so excited. She's gonna run into her house. Mom, look. Ah, ah. That's what happens on tour. You got little alleyways and. Uh... Milky puddles that kind of look like coffee, double double. Or like a low fat chocolate milk. Sometimes you have to overcome these hazards and just load over top of it. And that's an awesome fire our real men. We load our own gear on tours. And uh, you'll see it happen right now in front of you. Bands like to make people think that they work where they are. <laughs> really honestly. We only really work for probably about 45 minutes a day. And the rest of the time is, and then the, we play for about an hour, and that's not even really work. Oh, so shit, it's not like let's write a record about this or let's change a song about this. Let's this no, but like we're not like a, we're not. I don't think that we're the type of band that's like super marketable. Like when it comes to like a huge radio campaign, like, okay. so like we don't need that part of the major label. Like we don't need a major label to spend Bless a million you. dollars. Bless you. Bless you. We don't need a major label to spend like a million dollars on a radio campaign. We don't write songs that are like super those, accessible. Those kind of songs, you know. Yeah. But the fact that we have creative control, but we still have a major level of resources to get our records in the stores, is pretty much all we can ask for. You guys allow us to come up here and play every night. So, I'm just gonna say thank you because, like I just explained, I don't know how else to do it. <laughs> so, uh, why don't you pull up the audience a kiss? I don't know if that was that. Wave to the people, Dallas! Wave to the people! So, this could be our last song. Please sing along with us. With Music changed my life. Like music, music has a lot to do with more, a lot more to do with who I am than probably any teacher in high school. You know, like any like 
I don't know, yeah, a lot of that had to do with shaping who I was, so that's why I think our fans are important to me, because I, I just, I, I feel like maybe we're a band like that for them, you know, so we should probably take a little bit of an initiative to, to kind of present, like, a really good side of ourselves.